गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम टॉकिंग ऑन कैंसर कीमोथेरापी एंड टीनियोप्लास्टिक एजेंट्स हियर विल डिस्कस अबाउट ऑल द ड्रग्स एज यू ऑल नो दैट आवर बॉडी हैव अराउंड थर्टी ट्रिलियन सेल्स एंड दिज ऑल थर्टी ट्रिलियन सेल्स आर फॉलोइंग वन स्पेसिफिक काइंड ऑफ मेकेनिज्म थ्रू बॉडीज इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड Uh, performs its action uh, accordingly and these all functions of these cells are very tightly regulated you know the they proliferate only when it is required and as a result of a delicate balance between growth promoting and growth inhibiting mechanisms that are controlled by an intricate network of intra and extracellular molecules what does it mean body have some kind of growth promoting and some kind of growth inhibiting mechanisms in case of cancer cells uh, the cancer cells override these controlling mechanisms means they are not following right uh, they are not following body's mechanism but they follow their own internal program for uh, uh, timing their production reproduction indeed uh, cancer cells can grow in an unrestricted manner so when they are not following body system they'll go unrestricted manner and over the time they can acquire the ability to migrate from their original site this is another diff- problem what they do they they move on from their place invade nearby tissues and from tu- and form tumors at distant organs this process is called as metastasis right and uh, then wherever they reach they start uh, producing the tumors on those places so metastasis is one of these uh, serious uh, condition what the cancers are uh providing and once they move from one place to other they start growing there here i'm uh, discussing about the differences between the cancer and the normal cell it is very important to understand why suddenly one day one cell become the cancer cell the first point is that the cancer cell does not repeat uh, sorry respect usual cellular growth limits as i already told you the reason for this is that these cells presumably do not require all the same growth factors their ne- requirement is not the same growth factors what body is providing so they may be used utilizing something else for their growth second cancer cells often are far less adhesive to one another than are the normal cells normal cells are more cohesively and uh, uh, tightly bonded but the cancer cells are not therefore they have a tendency to wander through the tissues to enter the blood stream and then transported all through the body so they they have that chances that because they are not tightly bonded so they have a chance to move from one organ to other organ one place to other place and these places where it is reaching it can grow as a tumor in those particular places so there's a, there's a one of the important point which i already told you called as the uh, 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 called as the metastasis now some cancers also produce angiogenic factors as i told you the cancers uh, tumors need uh, regular blood supply when the body is not able to blood supply to them because they are more in number they start making their own blood vessels that process called as angiogenic uh, method angiogenesis and because they have their own angiogenic factors so they they do this process comfortably and through this blood supply with the, with these new blood vessels uh they are getting all their required nutrients and when they get the nutrients their supply their growth will be normal cancer tissue com- competes with the normal tissue for nutrients but the nutrients are limited in your body and the normal cells also need those nutrients but the cancer cells more in number so they need uh, more nutrients now here i am showing two pictures one is normal cell division another is cancer cell division in the normal cell division when the cell go for the damage it will go either for apoptosis or repair but in case of the cancer cell division you can see a lot of cells are growing 